right, Coach, why don't you go ahead and uh, just open it up with some comments on the game today. I um, thought both teams were put in a really tough situation with the lightning delay early on. Um, thought it actually benefited us. I mean, there's no way we go to the bullpen in the middle of the first inning. Uh, I thought Chase Hampton did exactly what we needed to do, and uh, Derek Bridges did exactly what we needed to do to get us out of the first five hours later. Um, but I thought it was, a, it was a very tough situation for everybody that was involved. Um, you know, I, it's not tough sitting around waiting. It's tough, though, coming back and facing that type of pitching for anybody, for both teams. I think you saw it on both sides. Um, you know, some, some maybe not as good at bats as you'd see, uh, you know, if you're in the flow of the game. And, and again, uh, not taking anything away from Notre Dame uh, at all. Their guys do great. And, uh, I mean, to come out of a, what do we have, five? Somebody said six hours. About five, 557. Yeah, almost six hour rain delay. And I think the kid's name was Simon. I mean, he's up to 97 under the lights. None of us have hit under these lights. And so it's, there's a lot of elements there. You hadn't seen a ball moving in six hours. You've been eating sandwiches, taking naps, playing games. And all of a sudden you're seeing 97 under lights that you hadn't hit under. It's just, it's a little bit different deal. And so I thought both teams handled it really good. Uh, their team actually handled it better. Uh, I thought Chase pitched outstanding. And again, I thought he gave us what we needed to win the game, but uh, Notre Dame wasn't going to allow that from, a, from a, on the mound. And they played great defense. And, uh, you know, they executed there late, you know, to get the run across, I guess. I mean, with the stolen base, you know, with one out. thought that was a really gutsy move. And, uh, you know, and they, and they executed it. So, uh, again, they, they did what they needed to do to win the game. but. Not every, I mean, I don't know how many, I mean, I mean, there just probably wasn't a lot of six hour delays today. I mean, I know there was one push to tomorrow in Miami and this one we tried to play it and probably should have just waited till this evening. I mean, really, now that you can look back at it, but that's okay too. I, I, mean, I told the guy running it, I mean, it, he's a better manager than me. I mean, he pulled our starter in the middle of the first and it worked and and, but we just couldn't score enough runs. Questions? Tim, how does a, a rain del delay affect a game like that? What oh, I think the, the hardest thing in a rain delay in the NCAA tournament is you're not allowed to hit in the delay. It's you roll out, you stretch, play catch, and you play. And so that's something could be addressed maybe. Um, and so that's probably the only thing. Other than that, kid, our kids were excited about playing. We were all excited about playing. Did you go back to the hotel or? No, we stayed here. We stayed here and ate some ham sandwiches and hung out with each other. Was there any discussion before the game about holding off till this evening, like you mentioned, or was that discussed at all? Wasn't discussed. Uh, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It, it was a pop-up deal, and I think in this part of the country it happens. And I hate it for both teams, but again, like I said, when it happened, I thought it happened for a reason for us. I was sitting there going, you're never going to pull Andrew Morris in the middle of the first. They got a left-hander coming up, and we got the guy that we go to with men on. It's left-handed, and it actually helped us. And so, uh, in that aspect. Now, who knows? Easton, talk about your at bat there in the eighth inning to get the two run single to tie it up. I was just trying to find some over the plate and drive those two guys in. Chase, what's it like kind of coming out of the bullpen after a rain delay and just kind of knowing that your job is just to go out there and throw as much as you can and try to <coughs> save the bullpen? What was your mindset kind of when you took over after a long delay? Yeah, I was just trying to give us a chance, uh, go out there and just not do too much and keep us in the game. Any other questions? All right. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. You bet. Thank you.